What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Upcoming Mods. This is a series where I show you guys some mods that are a work in progress at different stages in the development cycle and not quite ready for release just yet. It's important to remember when watching this series, a lot of mod authors work at different paces. They are doing this all for free. So some of these you may not see for months, some you might see in a week. We do have another interesting bunch of work in progress images and videos for different mods. So if you enjoy the content, I encourage you guys to consider subscribing. But with that, let's get right into it. So up first, we actually do have an AR mod. This is being dubbed the Modular Service Rifle right now and is in development by Doom. This is the guy that has made the Doom-based weapons, basically some of the best weapon mods for Fallout 4 right now. Insofar, this looks like it's going to be on par with those. A few videos ago, I did say, hey, I really want to see some AR-style weapons for Fallout 4. I feel like we don't really have one right now that embraces the system doing it in a quality and balanced way. This definitely seems like it's going to. Right from this image, we do have all the breakdown and different attachments we could see a bunch of different sight options so some of them look like a reflex and then we do have just the iron sights but on top of that the barrel options seem to be way more so we do have a bunch of different hand guards some older school ones almost like the vietnam era style and on top of that we do have two different grenade launchers and that looks like a flipped up foregrip i'm really excited to see the release of this mod it really seems like it's going to embrace all these different options especially with the title the modular service rifle obviously being a play on words of the service rifle from Fallout New Vegas, but hopefully to take advantage of Fallout 4's weapon customization system. Next up, we do have War Machine by NewerMind43. So this is the mod author behind the Midwestern Power Armor and the T-51C Power Armor, which I did feature in a previous episode of Upcoming Mods. I made a video a few months ago talking about the mods that Fallout 4 doesn't have that I really wish it did. One of those was Iron Man Power Armor, and it looks like we may finally be getting it. This is in its very early stages, though. It looks like right now it is only a model. Doesn't even look like it's really rigged yet. But having a War Machine or just an Iron Man in general General styled power armor would really tickle my fancy. That's something I'm really hoping for in the future. And it looks like, again, it, we're going to get it. So my hopes and wishes for this is I wanted to take advantage of some kind of power armor weapon augmentation. What I mean by that is if you watch the Iron Man movies, War Machine has that machine gun on his back that kind of pops up and starts shooting things and some missiles in his kind of, I don't know, gauntlet. It pops out and shoots out. Well, I'd really love it if this power armor took advantage of that. And basically the way I could envision it doing so is by actually just making the weapons look like they belong in the power armor. So maybe you have a built-in rocket launcher weapon that isn't actually anything to do, it's just a weapon that you have to equip, but the modeling of it could be custom to fit with this power armor. I think that would be really cool and maybe really make this a proper Iron Man power armor. So next up, we don't really have a title for this mod, so I'm just going to call it Procedural Generation because that is what it is. This is by the mod author behind Bunker Builder and Simply Modular Housing. This guy makes really good devlogs and just really good videos in general, so I highly recommend checking out his channel. There'll be a link in the description. So what is this mod? Basically, it's procedural generated dungeons, I guess, is the concept behind it. It is in its very early stages, basically more of a concept and figuring out if this will work or not. So what is procedural generation? Basically, it is just randomly creating things following a certain set of rules. So that would be like, all right, let's say all these areas you cleared in Fallout 4. Well, now there's a new zone with five more dungeons for it to be cleared and they're all random. They're going to be different for every single player because as you go into them, they will be generated on the spot and again, totally random. Each time you do that dungeon, it'll be a new experience as it reloads and resets. That's the possibilities with this. Obviously, you could take this further, making new NPCs, making new world spaces entirely. I don't know. There's a lot of options here. Basically, Basically, this is a concept mod that could really extend the life of Fallout 4. A mod like this will just give you consistently new content, although it'll probably get pretty dull after a while. Still a very cool mod and something I'm really excited for. So here we do have another pretty early work in progress concept art picture, but there is a reason I like this armor and there's no real name, it's just female concept art. The reason I really like this armor, even though it is so primitive, is it's not crazy or, you know, super slutty or anything like that. I feel like there's not enough just cool female armors in the game. As you can see, it does take advantage of certain female features like having high heels or some kind of heel with the concept art. The actual modeled picture there doesn't seem to embrace it as much, but nonetheless, I do hope 
armors like this start coming out more and more, and I feel like this could set a good precedent. There is definitely an audience for some Sludy armors out there, but there's definitely an audience for non Sludy armors as well. A lot of people just play as a female. And if you look at some of the male armors out there, they actually look really goofy or silly on females, especially after Lord of War did take all of his mods down. This included the Rebel, the B90 armor, etc. A lot of the times I'll find myself using a male armor on my female character and basically it just looks way too skinny or just totally disproportional. Last but not least, we do have ELFX. This is basically a mod that was originally for Skyrim that overhauled the lighting system in the game. It's not an ENB, this is a lighting overhaul. Basically, it made the lighting more dramatic, adding different sources and just going through the whole game and changing all kinds of different things. Frankly, I think it looks awesome. There's a ton of images for this one. It's relatively self-explanatory, but it's better to see it than for me to try and describe it to you. I'm not gonna link them all, so that I'm gonna have two links in the description to where you can see a ton more, and I highly recommend checking it out. Out. They have really good before and after pictures, and all around, I'm really excited for this one. I'm going to use this with my ENB to make Fallout 4 look so good. That's pretty much it for this one, though, guys. I do hope you enjoyed another episode of Upcoming Mods. If you did make it to this point in the video, comment cookie down below. As always, I thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Later!